All right, so this is another video about Remco Evenepoel, and I think it's quite an interesting, going to be an interesting video. It's about why does Remco Evenepoel do so much running? Now, if you've had a look at his Strava, he's running sometimes up to three or four times a week, maybe more, uh, quite often before training, sometimes after training. Uh, not, But obviously, like, you know, in November, fair enough, but even now in January, he's still doing a lot of running, predominantly on the treadmill, but it's really interesting to see why he's doing this. So generally, most research literature says that running is, like, obviously not as good as training as training for cycling as people think it is like cycling is better which is you know isn't that groundbreaking obviously you're going to be a better cyclist if you if you cycle more and so then you think well why is Remco doing it? it's not like he's someone who has limited time so that you know he might only have half an hour and then maybe running you could argue might be slightly better than cycling if you could do it or that he you know you know it's in November he just wants to switch up he's doing it like in a lot of his preparation time so I think it's quite interesting obviously he had a his hip issues last time where he broke his pelvis and I think that's probably the main reason because I really don't think it's to do with him trying to gain any more fitness I think if you if that was the case I know cyclists do think oh running it is like people think it is quite useful uh but I think you'd only do maybe one run a week you you definitely tone it down a little bit I know a, obviously a lot of cyclocross riders do it a lot but I think the reason Remco is going to be doing it and I'm not sure also it's to do with his rehab because if it was to do his rehab, he would have been doing it further behind. Okay, he didn't upload Strava, so maybe he did. But from what I can tell was that he di wasn't doing it much. Wasn't doing it. So there's this study here, which is comparing non-weight-bearing athletes, so cyclists, and weight-bearing. And basically saying that the 63% of non-weight-bearing athletes had osteopenia of the spine or hip compared to 19% of the weight-bearing. Um, that's basically just like sh saying low bone density. Um, and cyclists were seven times more likely to have osteopenia. Oste oste Penia of the spine than runners controlling for age, body weight, and bone loading history. Um, so yeah, basically cyclists have quite low bone density, and you know he he had crashed, and it was quite not obviously it was a bad crash, no doubt about it, but it wasn't didn't seem that bad, and uh, he did he took a very long time to come back from it, which begs you the question of like, well, you know why is that? And maybe you know the team. A uh, quick step, his coaches have said, well, you know what, if you can keep running, and he's he's doing quite a lot, but. Actually, and we'll keep going on this. Uh, and he's doing quite a lot. And you're like, well, why would he be doing this? And not at a fast rate either, which I think is a key point. He's not whacking out, you know, stupidly fast speeds. A lot of this is quite slow running, building up and getting used to it. I think it's really interesting, like, why he's doing it. I think it must be to do with bone density. Because otherwise, it makes zero sense, like, why he would do it, especially on the treadmill, so he can really control the speed. And I think it has to be just to do with trying to increase his bone density. So that means... If he does crash in the future or whatever, he's less likely to. I guess the other argument as well is that Remco has a long history of running because he played football at Elite Level. He was at like Andalact Academy. He was also ran like a hour and a bit um, half marathon or something stupid when he was like 16. Like he was, he obviously has more of a like complete sport background than a lot of cyclists. Like a lot of cyclists, you know, not very good at any other sports, minimal coordination uh, and, you know, just very good at riding a bike from the age of 12. But he's not really like that. So maybe again, he thought, you know, I was really maybe like obviously in his junior days, he, he probably was doing some sort of other stuff than cycling. Maybe thought, you know, I was going well then. Maybe I'll, I'll put it back into my program during winter and see how it is. Um, but I think bone density is probably the main thing. Um, and it's quite interesting to see really because I haven't seen, I've seen other people go for little jogs, but I think his is the first one I've seen where they have an actual like running program as well as like a cycling program. Like he doesn't just go for a 5k it's like very controlled um but anyway leave, me, leave your thoughts below like why do you think remco is doing so much running um in the off season and maybe it'll be interesting to see if he continues it when he starts to race uh but yeah these are my thoughts i just think it's to do with bone density and probably not a bad idea um to try and increase it especially when he's so young and might want to have another like 15 years of cycling at a top level